Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in this video, we're going to be looking at using the first and last functions that are available to us in PySpark. So let's dive into the demo. I've got my Databricks Community Edition here. I linked to a video of mine which shows you how to set this up for yourself. So you can use PySpark for free. But yeah, let's dive into the demo. What I've done so far is I've read a CSV file into a data frame and I've displayed the data frame so you guys can get an idea of the data. And after that, what I'm doing is I'm just um, importing the functions first and last from pyspark.sql.functions, uh, which you need you need to import them for it to work. And now, what they do is the first function, as the name suggests, when you call it on a particular column, it returns the first value in that particular column. And like and just as in the first for the last function, it returns the last value in that particular column. So let's just see how to implement them. We can use a select. In this case, just to query the data. If you wanted to add a new column based only on the last value or the first value, we can do a bit column and then use it in the same way. But for now, just to query the data, I'm using a select. So df.select, and then we can specify a first. Within the brackets, you can specify which column you want to perform this function on. I'm just going to do it on the first name column. And then we can do a dot, dis do a dot display or a dot show. I personally prefer the dot display in Databricks because it's fancier. So as you can see, it's temp. And you can see when I've displayed all the data, temp is the first name. And now, to see the last name. I need to change that to last. And yeah, we get Fyodor as the last name. I'm guessing that's it'll take a while to scroll down, I guess. Let's see? So yeah, Fyodor is the last name in the thousandth row. So that's how this works. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.